And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to that troublesome child we've all learned to like so well, Baby Snoop. Hurry up with my tuxedo pants, Mother. I don't want to be late for the banquet. What you doing, Daddy? I'm getting dressed, Snooks, and it's time you were in bed. Where are you going? To a banquet. Now, run along. I have to rehearse my speech while I'm getting dressed, and I don't want any interruptions. All right. You've got to memorize this thing, and I don't want to make any bonus. <clears throat> uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Uh, what? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Nobody. Do you feel all right, Daddy? Yes, I'm just practicing. Practicing what? My speech. Now go down and get my pants. All right, Daddy. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Daddy. Thank... Now what is it? Why are you saying thank you? Because that's what I have to say. But I didn't get your pants yet. I'm not saying it to you. I'm saying it to the people. What people? At the banquet. Can they hear you? N no. You sure you feel all right, Daddy? <laughs> yes. And why are you saying it? For their applause. I didn't hear any. Why, of course you didn't. But they'll applaud when I get up and I'll have to thank them. Oh. Why? <laughs> because I'm the guest of honor. Now go and get my trousers and then go to bed. All right. <clears throat> uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Toastmaster, members of the Bar Association, ladies and gentlemen, I'm indeed honored this Daddy. evening that I... Snooks, haven't you gone yet? No, I want to watch. <laughs> watch what? I want to watch you make the funny faces in the mirror. I'm not making any funny faces. I'm rehearsing my speech, I told you. Is that what you're going to do? Yes. In front of all those people? Yes. Without your pants? Yes. No, no. <laughs> Will you be quiet? Uh-huh. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Toastmaster, members of the Bar Association, ladies and gentlemen, I, I come to you... What's a chairman, Daddy? A chairman is a man who sits in a chair. Oh. Daddy! Now what is it? Does the Toastmaster sit on the toast? <laughs> no, no. And I don't want to be bothered by you anymore. Now I'll go to bed. I won't bother you, Daddy. Well, all right. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, Mr. Toastmaster, members of the Bar Association, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm indeed honored this evening... You said to... that before, Daddy. I know I did, but I've got to learn it. Why? So I can say it. But you just said it. <laughs> I mean to the people. What people? At the banquet! Ah. <laughs> Daddy! Oh, what do you want? What's the banquet? It's a dinner the Bar Association is giving for me. Are you hungry? No. Then why are they giving you your dinner? Because after 12 years, I've just been made an officer. Didn't they give you any dinner before? No. Oh, then you must be hungry. Oh, this dinner isn't like any ordinary dinner. Don't they have food there? Oh, of course they do. Well, what's the difference? I'm not going to stand here and explain to you. Snooks, leave this room so I can learn my speech. What speech? The speech I'm making to the Bar Association. Who's that? It's an organization that lawyers belong to. To. Are you a lawyer, Daddy? Oh, you know I am. Then Jump Green is a monkey. Snooks, what are you saying? That's what he said to his wife. Who said? Jump Green. I was playing with his little girl yesterday. Well? And the judge said if Higgins is a lawyer, I'm a monkey. Oh, he did, did he? Well, well, I'll, I'll, never mind about that. Now, you go to bed. I'll show him. You ain't sick, are you, Daddy? No, I'm not. And why are you putting your socks on your head? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Why? Because you're driving me crazy. Now, get out of here. Let me learn my speech. Mr. Toast Chair and Barman of the Men's Association. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Daddy? Are you here again? I told you to go to bed. I've got to get your pants, ain't I? No, leave me alone. I'll get my own pants. Do you know where he lives? Who? The man. What man? The man with the jelly apples. Oh, what do I care about the man with the jelly apples? I want my tuxedo pants. Well, he's got them. <laughs> Who 
who's got them? The man with the jelly apples. Are you were supposed to take my pants to Taylor. But Taylor, he, he, he didn't have any jelly apples. Oh, good heavens. Did you really give my tuxedo pants away for a jelly apple? Uh-huh. Snooks, this is one time I'm really going to give you a sound fashion. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. Oh, what's the use? Now, listen, Snooks. I don't want anything like this ever to happen again. You realize what an awful thing it was to give away my pants for that jelly apple, don't you? Yes, Daddy. You do? Well, why was it wrong? Because the apple had a worm in it. <laughs>